Wine is kind of like this beautiful bridge. It, it is part of good conversation. It's part of civilized life. I love the diversity of it. I love that it can be grown and produced in so many places around the world. And I love the people you meet. We are in the Walla Walla Valley in the small little agricultural town of Loudoun, Washington. Walla Walla is in the southeast corner of the state. We're diagonally, more or less, a four-hour drive from Seattle. We have Cascade Mountains that create the Columbia Valley or Columbia Basin where most of our wine grapes and most of our agriculture is. We do Bordeaux varieties. Cabernet, a lot of Merlot, Cabernet Franc, and people like our wines. The, the wines from Walla Walla have great fruit, but they also have a very distinct sense of place asking do you have a favorite wine it's like asking do you have a favorite child and occasionally you can say well I prefer one over the other for a short period of time but the fact is you love them both and I feel that way about my wine if you look at most great wine regions around the world there's also fabulous food that is grown in those same places Northwest cuisine in my opinion is just really simple fresh food I think Seattle's super special because it has the best products, in, in my opinion, in the world. You know, we've got the best crab, we've got the best salmon, we've got the best mushrooms, we've got the best apples and pears. It really is one of those scenarios where you're like, we just try to take it and not mess it up. For me in cooking, I, I got started in it because my dad, that was his hobby, so it kind of rubbed off. You know, every kid wants to be like their dad in some fashion. It was a natural fit. It's partly working with my hands, partly food, but a big chunk of it is also just wanting to see people hanging out around a dinner table, talking and conversing and catching up in their day. The joy of, uh, of dining really starts with the people you're hanging out with. We take our products and we kind of apply them to, you know, to different cooking styles, but you know, we kind of keep it fresh and very seasonal and as local as possible. Our restaurant group is A, about being in neighborhoods and B, giving back to those neighborhoods. Trying to give back to schools, give back to homeless people, food shelters. The system is very symbiotic to, you know, to Seattle. I think beer brings people together. It creates a unique relationship or way to socialize with friends and uh, you kind of feel good after two pints too. We offer brewery tours around Seattle. It's a beer tour with a little bit of sightseeing involved with it as well. We take our guests behind the scenes, kind of provide that VIP unique experience to show what beer's all about, how it's made, different styles of varieties, and they get to taste beer along the way too. A lot of people don't know about where these breweries are, so part of the experience is getting to see the different parts of town as well as get to drink and taste some that you might have never tried before. Going to the breweries, you actually get to see people making beer, which is then drank locally, not necessarily shipped all over America. So it's kind of nice to actually support you know, mom and pop breweries as well as the larger ones. <sighs> yeah, there's just something about beer that gets people you know, to socialize and chat and create good conversation and friendships. and. Complete strangers after two pints are, are friends or they're sharing an experience together and they bond over the beer. Mm -hmm.